<laughs> Sorry, but this is not Game of Thrones. We are here for a more exciting show. In this series, we will tackle the different Active Directory exploitation and defense. We will use Game of Active Directory, which is a vulnerable simulation layer. Due to limited resources, we will use the light version, which consists of two domain controllers and one server. Although we will use Game of Active Directory, keep in mind that this series will focus on these three things rather than the lab setup. First, we will understand the theory behind the vulnerability. Then we will discuss the different ways on how to exploit it. Lastly, being an ethical hacker, we need to know how to defend such attacks. Now let's discuss the lab setup. We will have three virtual machines running Windows Server 2019. They will be deployed on different domains under Westeros. Since Daenerys' death isn't the ending everybody wanted, we will have our own storyline to make it more exciting. In our alternate universe, we will resurrect the Night King and help him conquer the Iron Throne from Cersei. In order to do that, we will need to exploit our way through John's Wall and pivot our way through Ned's Winterfell Domain Stronghold. Once we conquer the North, we will exploit King's Landing's trust relationship with it in order to gain full domain admin across Westeros. I will stop telling spoilers about the attack and exploits we will do, but I will show you the rough outline of the series. As much as possible, we will follow the lab attack paths and vulnerabilities. At any point, I might inject other types of vulnerabilities in order for us to learn more things within this smaller setup. In order to do that, I may need to tweak the setup a bit, such as putting additional users with different set of permissions or adjusting the domain controller settings to make it more vulnerable. Now, let's go ahead and set up game of Active Directory Lite. First, we need to clone the repository from GitHub. Let's take a look what's inside. There are a lot of things, but don't be afraid. I will guide you through it. There is a handy wrapper script that will automate the installation for us. We will pick the light version. Then we will need a virtualization software, so I will choose VMware since I'm using Fusion on my Mac. Lastly, we will need Ansible to configure the virtual machines once they boot it up. I won't show how to install the dependencies as it may vary on different systems, but I will put a link on the description to guide you. This might not be required, but I always want to have a standard IP addressing across my virtual machine, so I will edit a few settings. Inside the Vagrant file, I put the static IPs I wanted for my virtual machines. It is also a good practice to at least read the code, so you will have better understanding on how it works. For example, we can see that the Vagrant file runs some PowerShell scripts which will install a hotfix and enable WinRM for Ansible. Okay, enough digging on the Vagrant file. I will need to update also the Ansible inventory to reflect the IPs I used. This is important as this will be the IPs that will be used by Ansible in connecting to the target virtual machines via WinRM. Before we hit install, let's do a check first if all prerequisites has been satisfied. Sorry for the noise as my old laptop starts to heat up again. I will find something that will suppress some of the noise on the next videos. All checks passed, so looks like we are ready now. I'm rerunning the same script, but this time I use install rather than check. The script is creating first the virtual machines in VMware Fusion using Vagrant. Then after the virtual machines are up, it will configure them using Ansible. This will take some time, so I will skip most part. During the Ansible configuration, you will encounter some issues like this. That happens because sometimes the target virtual machine is not responding quickly enough or the connection is timing out. The script is intelligent enough to retry the playbook on these situations. Once Ansible is finished configuring the servers, it will reboot them. This is done to install some updates, remove some operating system cache, and boot them into a fresh state. Finally, the script is finished setting up the servers and configuring them. Let's now do some checks. Sometimes, even though provisioning is successful, we still encounter some annoying issues like this where I can't properly get hold of my mouse cursor. And if you notice, the screen resolution is not adjusted properly on this machine. So I'm trying to click it and maybe reinstall VMware tools manually. For the meantime, I'm going to switch quickly between different machine tabs, log into them, and check as well. Do note that the default machine credentials is Vagrant Vagrant. I apologize again for the noisy laptop fan in the background. Even with using game of Active Directory Lite, my machine is still crawling. Okay, let's open PowerShell and check some stuffs. 
We can use this handy environment variable to check if the computer is on the correct domain. That looks good, meaning the computer was properly joined. Now going back to DC02, finally I was able to get hold of my mouse pointer. One trick here is you need to log out again and log in. If that didn't fix the resolution issue, then you need to reinstall VMware tools and reboot the VM. Another thing I always wanted to check is if the domain users are created. We can do that quickly in PowerShell by filtering the user object class. But of course, I'm not going to show the result to avoid spoilers. One final thing before we conclude today's video. Aside from doing verification inside the virtual machines, we also need to check if they are reachable via the network. So I will trigger some basic tests from my colleague to check the connectivity. First is I'll ping the VM. Then I'll use another handy script to quickly check the open ports. Okay, I think that's enough. Overall, our game of Active Directory Lite setup is fully configured and ready to use. Stay tuned for our next video of the series, which will be about this.